There's at least one major U.S. bank that thinks base metals will be the next large hedge against inflation, and we're going to be talking about that in today's video. Welcome back, guys, to the Independent Experience. I'm NDXP Bullion, and this is your Morning Market Wake Up Call for Monday, May 17th, 2021. I hope everybody had a great weekend. I know I did. Had a lot of fun yesterday. Saturday afternoon, made it back out to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Grand Prix. Always nice to be back into the grandstands, even after not being there for a year, regardless of being not being there for a year, I should say. It's been too long, and I'm glad that we are starting to open back up the sporting facilities and getting back to business as usual. Let's go ahead and take a look at the markets, though, and see where we're starting this week off at. Gold is up currently at 1855.06. Silver is up nicely at 2770. That gives us a ratio of 6698. Platinum is up slightly, currently at 1239.32. Palladium is up as well, currently at 2931.78. And rhodium is steady at 27,600. In base metals, we are starting to see a little bit of a recovery. Copper is going to be starting the week off at 464. Nickel is starting at 790. Aluminum is at $1.10. Zinc is up at $1.33. And lead is at 97 cents. Barrels of crude oil are pretty steady, currently at 65.20 a barrel. Over on Wall Street, we ended the week last week up. Let's go ahead and take a look and see where we're starting the week off at there. The Dow will be starting at 34,382.13. The NASDAQ at 13,429.98. And the S&P 500 will be starting off at 41,7385. The US dollar index is down slightly today, currently at 90.25. If you guys trade in cryptocurrencies, well, you've had a rough weekend. Bitcoin is down significantly, currently at 45,777.13, and Dogecoin is at 50 cents. If you guys happen to trade a gold back this morning, those are exchanging for $3.81, but I do expect that to go up a penny once their market opens later today. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we have a major U.S. bank that is going to be betting on base metals and other commodities to hedge against the upcoming inflationary times that we're having. This comes to us from Rajan Dahl over at Kitco News. This is titled, J.P. Morgan thinks there are there is more space for commodities to move higher. In a research note from last week's investment banking giant, JP Morgan's uh, JP Morgan has to have stated if inflation continues to surprise to the upside, commodities will serve as a useful hedge for investors. Commodities in general have had a great run as of late. Anyway, with the prices so extended, it leaves investors thinking how much further prices can go. If this projection is correct, then inflation numbers around the world could get even higher. Just recently, the year-on-year -year inflation number hit 4.2% after analyst, expect, analyst expectations showed a median average of only 3.6%. Copper futures are trading just over 32% higher this year, and oil has moved 34% higher. In regards to some of the fundamentals, Canada has restricted the supply of timber from its forests. Oil prices have been on the move, have moved higher as demand for fuel jumps and the cyber attack cut off one of the biggest pipelines in the U.S. And copper prices have more than doubled thanks to an increased demand for it in the electric vehicle and supply chain failing to keep up. J.P. Morgan noted, Quote, not only do commodities like gold, as well as gold, look less vulnerable uh, in the longer term from the positioning point of view respective in the near term, but they also look a lot less vulnerable relative to the equity asset class. Even gold has had a run recently through holding firm, though holding firm above $1,800 and pushing past 1850 earlier today. As 
Now also, if inflation continues to surprise to the upside in the coming months, commodities relative attractiveness in the long term be uh, becomes even stronger given investors' perception of the commodities as a better inflation hedge, JP Morgan concluded. The pickup in demand also uh, as many uh, the pickup in demand as many countries project they are heading out of the COVID-19 pandemic has given the commodities a fresh uh, impetus of a move higher. There's also a possibility there could be more strikes at the uh, ooh, what's this one? Escadita copper mine in Chile, which could squeeze copper supplies slightly more. So there we have it. JP Morgan is telling us that uh, they think that commodities might be a, another great hedge, even though gold, they did mention gold in there as being a good hedge. We always know that gold, is, precious metals are always going to be a good hedge against uh, inflationary times. But uh, it sounds like they're also betting on some of those base metals and other commodities. So what do you guys think? Do you think that commodities such as copper and and crude oil are great hedges against inflation? Personally, I don't feel that way, but uh, especially with crude oil. Crude oil, <laughs> if, if you have inflation and people are spending less money, then you, people are using less oil. And you can't, <laughs> uh, anywho, I'm not JP Morgan. JP Morgan is, Sometimes, let's just say JP Morgan plays loose with their figures. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'd be very interested to hear what you have to say on this topic. All right, guys. I do greatly appreciate every single one of you. And if you happen to appreciate old Indie XP bullying, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up button for me right there. It helps me out immensely. If you happen to be new to the independent experience and you want to keep up to date on when all the latest and greatest content comes out, make sure you hit the subscribe and jingle jingle bell right there in the corner. Bing bong. So you can stay notified of when that content comes out. Of course, I'll pop in the box up on this side of the screen right here. This is the gateway to the back catalog of videos. Somewhere around 450 videos strong at this point. You can start clicking through these at your heart's content at the end of this one. Guys, I have been Indy XP Bullion from The Independent Experience, and I'm here again to remind you, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find your pockets heavy.